Greetings, Centennial State, and welcome to the Colorado Report. I'm Dave Rex. Twice a week, we bring you select headlines and side stories from the Rocky Mountain State. Thank you for joining us. Hello, all. This Sunday edition of the Colorado Report will be different than usual. We're going to do very few edits. You'll hear flubs and slips. I'll repeat reads at points, and music will flow differently. But with that said, we have six stories this Sunday from KKTV 11 and KRDO 13. First up, from KKTV 11, published January 18th, 2019. Authorities are investigating a deadly shooting just south of Colorado Springs. Deputies were called to a neighborhood near B Street and Hampton Hampton Street, just to the east of South Academy Highway 115 at about 3.30 p.m. The shooting happened along Lachelle Avenue. Just before 10 p.m., the El Paso County Sheriff's Office announced the arrest of Emilio Esteban in the case. No details on who the victim is were publicly released. Next up from KKTV 11, posted January 18th, 2019. A Colorado Springs teacher is behind bars after being arrested during an undercover operation in a public park in Florida. The Polk County Sheriff's Office says 43-year-old Kyle Gillum had his hands in his pants, walked up to an undercover detective, and grabbed the detective's groin on Thursday. According to investigators, detectives were in the area as part of a larger investigation into the lewd behavior. Gillum is now charged with battery. Gillum is a fifth grade teacher at at Taylor Elementary School. A D11 spokesperson confirms that Gillum is on administrative leave, but won't comment on the specifics in the case. Gillum is being held in the Polk County, Florida jail on $500 bond. Our third story from KKTV 11 posted January 19th, 2019. An off-duty sheriff's deputy who was shot by a police officer in Colorado following a car chase died Friday. Deputy Jesse Jensen, 41, was removed from life support after he was shot by a LaSalle officer late Wednesday night, according to the Adams County Sheriff's Office. Authorities from multiple agencies were chasing two vehicles going more than 90 miles per hour and eventually were able to stop them. The LaSalle officer ended up shooting one of the drivers identified as Jensen, and detectives are investigating if the drivers were racing. Jensen was not doing police work when he and the other driver sped sped through the rural area in northern Colorado. Greeley Police Sergeant Joe Timewatch said, Quote, he was not in the performance of his official duty. He was not in a marked patrol car. There was no legitimate pursuit. It's still pretty early in the investigation. Authorities have not said what prompted the LaSalle officer to open fire on Jensen, who started his career with the Adams County Sheriff's Office in 2016 and was assigned to the jail. A large team has been assembled in Weld County to investigate the shooting. Detectives have searched the deputy's car. The name of the police officer who shot Jensen has not been released and no charges have been filed against the other driver. On to our fourth story from KRDO 13. A section of southbound Interstate 25 just north of Pueblo was closed Friday afternoon due to heavy police presence in the area following a chase and crash. A KRDO crew spotted multiple El Paso County Sheriff's Office deputies going south after a vehicle at a high rate of speed. Pueblo police gave an update at about 3.45 p.m., saying that the chase involved three suspects in a stolen vehicle. According to a news release, the teenage suspects carjacked a victim at gunpoint and stole a 2006 Pontiac Montana van at 8.41 a.m. 
At about 1.15 p.m., the suspects tried to rob a victim in Colorado Springs, but officers responded and started chasing when the suspects wouldn't stop. The chase went southbound until the suspects lost control of the van and crashed. All three were taken into custody and faced multiple charges including robbery, attempted robbery, and felony eluding. Traffic cameras showed the crash near mile, mile marker 101 and multiple cars were damaged in the roadway. The interstate has since been reopened. The suspects haven't been identified yet and no mug shot, shots have been released. Number five, as we grow closer to the end of our set of stories here, the Colorado Springs Police Department is investigating a deadly cl- crash at Briargate Boulevard and Union Boulevard. A tweet posted Friday said the Briargate Boulevard and Union intersection is closed due to a fatal accident. Authorities are asking the public to please avoid the area at this time. Lieutenant Black with the Colorado Springs Police Department is currently responding to the scene. We will update you with the latest information as it becomes available. Check back to this article. And for our final story on this Sunday edition, police arrested an 18-year-old and are searching for another man involved in an unarmed robbery late Thursday night. Police were called to the 1200 block of Potter Drive to investigate a reported carjacking. The initial investigation revealed that two men carrying a firearm approached a woman and demanded her purse and car keys. The men then left the scene in the victim's vehicle. Officers found the stolen vehicle on South Circle Drive and initiated a traffic stop, but the driver failed to yield. After a brief pursuit, the men stopped the vehicle and left the scene on foot. Police were able to catch 18-year-old Isaiah Morris, but could not find the second suspect. A firearm was recovered from the vehicle. KRDO will continue to update this story as we learn more. That's it for this Sunday edition of the Colorado Report. You can check out links and show notes for this and all episodes at thecoloradoreport.com. You can send your emails to coloradoreport at gmail.com. You can tweet me. The handle is at thecoreport. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for listening. I'll talk to you soon.